I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Cam. We're doing a Q&A today. One, two, three. From the top, make me drop. That's the way. The woman's always right. Honestly, I've never met anyone so rude in my whole entire life. Yeah, I think it's finally time we addressed it. And I feel like because we are in such a good place now, we actually asked you guys on Insta recently and on YouTube to ask us anything because we were feeling really, really generous at the time. And I mean, we still are feeling mm -hmm. generous. Um, so we left because our lease was due up. Flights. Is that the right saying? Due up? Yeah. Up, up. Um, and it was a case of <clears throat> renewing for another six months or, you know, not renewing for another six months. And I mean, I don't know, about, I don't know if you realise, but rent is really, really expensive in London. So we're saving we're for a house. We're looking to move out next year. Okay, so I'm going to list my my things I feel like we've had. I feel like you've had a mental note for a while that's very no, do you know, snappy. Do you know what? We actually went through a period, I think, where we were bickering a lot, didn't we? We did. We were bickering yeah. a lot more. Now we're actually a lot more chill. I think because we know each other so well and we know how to calm each other down now. And we also know what rattles each other, so we don't... We try, I, well, I try not to do those things. Uh, but they're just like main, main, like, not main, main normal couple things, you know? I'm trying to think what else we bicker or argue over like, when you don't give me attention. Oh, yeah. That's fair enough. That's a big one. And you go on your phone. Do you know what I call it? Keyboard, because she goes on her phone and watching TV. Like last night we tried. I just to... love what going on my phone watching TV. And, and, and then I tested and I'm like, what TV is saying? TV is purely just background, background noise. No, it's, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. TV is background noise. Yeah. Right. It used to be for me until I met you. One, two, three. Oh, you're a joke though, aren't you? Because you know it's you. <laughs> come on, bitch. Come on. No. Just come on, bitch. Just, just, just admit this. Come on. Okay, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably was me, but I'm a very open book. You're not. Yeah, closed, scared. Scared of love. Anyway. Not anymore. And from the top, make me drop. That's a wet, wet, wet. I'm talking fuck it and I'm out. That's a wet, wet, wet. I'm talking wow, wow, wow. That's a wet, wet, wet. Macaroni on the top. Just some wet, wet, wet. Disgusted with that. That would be my song. Huh? That would be my song. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. So you're there. You're there. Getting scared, getting yeah. dragged right back there. Yeah. And you're from the top. Yeah, it. yeah. And that'll make me run as well. Like, you know, I you, hate that. you know, in the gym, when that. not like go to gym, but when I used to sometimes go to gym and you'd be on the treadmill and you have to play some like mute, that's like, that's how excited I'm getting. And you used to have to play music like that to keep going. Mm. You know, now, from the top, make me drop. Yeah. That's nice. Good choice. Thanks. Why? What would yours be? Um, it'd be quite a lot, but I think it'd probably be. Sunflower by Post Malone and Swallow 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 How's that go? And you're left in the dust And it's a fire Yeah It's nice Innocent say I keep on check It's off Spider-Man and Spider-Verse as well It was made for that wow. So it reminds me Because that's the last thing I watched Before I went to the Two Hot Handle Villa And we'd have to ask this little guy Because hey, I'm bit. obviously married to him Ring bit Ring bit Is that weird? What? Married to your dog? Well, I don't know, he's like my child and... So you're married to your child? <laughs> That's weird. No, but as in like, hypothetically married to him, like he's the love of my life. Okay. And you smell everything. So he has this, <laughs> he has this, what's it called? Aura. Really. He has an aura ring. Tracks my sleep. And he will take it off and think I, I can't see him and start sniffing the cheese <laughs> all around his finger. It smells good. It actually right. is disgusting. And if you smell it, you would know. If anyone wants to smell it, be my guest. But I just think it's, I think it's a man thing. I think, comment, if, if you're a guy, comment. And he'll go like this, he'll like play with his earrings and he'll go. Yeah, he'll like scratch his head and he'll go. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You know when I first met you and you you tried you tried to act like a she's sometimes oh. act like a little road man. Like <laughs> yes bruv, yeah yeah yeah. I would never be like that. No, nah, sometimes Twix. she has a, she has a few mates she still does it with and I'm like uh, ick. Nah fam, like that. Yeah, but just worse. Just worse. Uh, and I'm like, nah, oh Yeah. Uh, nah, come on. Like <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I, I have done it in so long, I don't it's even gross, know. That's why. Yeah, but it's just my friends that I used to hang out with. I love you, sugar. The woman's always right. 
Okay, number two? Um, just say yes to the woman and everything. Just don't have a social life. These aren't serious, you're not helping anyone here. Just stay in and only talk to your girlfriend or boyfriend. Love thy neighbour, love thy dog. That's your vibe? Yeah, just uh, FYI, I don't follow any of those, so <laughs> ignore that. Number one, communication. All right, communication, always key. We always say that. Number two, um, healthy sex life. Healthy sex life, yeah, sex is very important. Do you know what? Most of the questions we actually got were about sex. You sick fucks. Mm -hmm. They were all about sex. I'm so, sick. healthy sex life, listen to each other in the bedroom, try new things, be experimental. Number three, I generally say family, I think, like being there for, like, being, oh yeah, family's being, a big part. Being Having, part of the family. Getting on with the family. Yeah, yeah. that's a big part. The dog, thy yeah. neighbours. So actually, love thy neighbour, yeah. love thy family. I don't think you have to have similar hobbies, but I think you've got to... Oh, that's great, because I don't have any. Compromise, yeah, you've got no hobbies. Compromises once. So for example... I can't be the only one who doesn't have hobbies. She compromises for me, I compromise for her. Last night, I love Game of Thrones, and I was like, do you want to start it? And she was like, yeah, go on. And she actually really likes it. So, for those of you who don't know, um, about two months ago, um, I had something called an ectopic pregnancy. Um, basically, is when the baby grows in your fallopian tube and it's fatal. And if I'd left it sort of any longer, I potentially could have died. And old Twix is not, this upsets Twix, this topic. Um, uh, yeah, I was about eight, nine weeks pregnant when I found this out. I one day was just out with Cam um, and Joe. Uh, Joe is the guy, my friend, who edits our videos. And I just sort of like collapsed to the floor in excruciating pain. And I had to get Cam and Joe to carry me back to the flat. Um, and I was like, I'm with, with pain and stuff, I just like sort of don't take much notice. I'm like, oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine, just give you pain. But even like, after taking four painkillers, like, it was just so bad. And mm -hmm. so we called 111. Um, and yeah, I had to get rushed to the hospital. I had a scan. And yeah, it turns out I had an active pregnancy. So um, we lost the baby and we lost one of my fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, in answer to your question, are we scared of getting pregnant again? I'm personally not. Not, I'm, like, not, not really. I mean, obviously. It's so weird from from the guys and the woman's perspective. Obviously, from Em's perspective, it was so different from what it's like for me. Just having to see her go through that pain, you know, be in hospital. I may have just dumbed it down to where, but the pain, it. the pain was just like I couldn't even, I couldn't do anything. Like I, 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 like we. So before she went into into surgery, so they got her in the bed in the room, and I was just there. Like I was an emotional wreck, wasn't I? I was just crying all the time. Especially as, we, in that pain. especially as we were in a &E for like over 24 hours. Yeah. And no one was seeing us. I hadn't like, slept. I slept yeah. on I slept on like a marble floor with a like, pillow and a blanket just because I didn't want to, she, I couldn't be in the bed with her. Um, and I remember her getting wheeled out to go to surgery and just looking at me being like, oh, don't leave me. And I was like, I ran my mum and I was like, oh, they're taking her. It was, yeah, it was an emotional time for both of us. Um, but we did receive a lot of love and support from yeah. them, didn't we? But it's something that I think people need to know more about because we didn't know anything about I it. I had no idea. Literally, I've never heard about never it before. Never heard of it. I've actually got a post on my Insta about it, um, some information on it as well. If you want to check it out, if you want to know a bit more about it. A bit more serious from us, but we haven't really addressed it. Well, we have we have addressed it, but I feel like it's nice to just chat about it yeah. on YouTube in more depth. Right. The way she's with animals, I've never seen anyone quite like it. Like she is, you know those pages you see on Instagram and TikTok that are like give all their life to animals? If she could, and I think she will eventually do that. And that for me is a very admirable trait. Something that I've I've always been a bit more selfish than she is, so yeah, that's very nice. That's where my money goes, just in animal trays. And I can't walk past an animal without saying their name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you think you, I would touch most of them, you've got to judge it. You know, some people don't like the animals being touched. If they're strays, oh yeah, I'll go up to them and spend a good five, ten minutes with them. Touch my animal any day. I can touch an animal any day. A rattlesnake. Nah, my boar. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like we've got, if I see a dog, I'm like, doggy, 
Let's see, Horsh got to go horsey. Yeah, see, she, got to go kitty. She loves them. So that's my favourite thing about you. For one, I love how you dress. Thanks. Very sexy. Thank you. And two, I love your personality. Hmm. And how, but like when behind closed doors personality, how you are with me. Yeah. Not when you're out with friends and stuff, but just how you are with me because you're so cute and kind and less selfish when it's just me and you. Yeah, I'm funny, you are funny, you make me laugh. I'm very funny. You make me laugh a lot. Thank you. Um, chuckle brothers in it. Chuckle brothers lots for of, life. I have lots of chuckles in this house. Um, and your morning breath. Oh yeah, morning breath bad. We did watch most of it. Oh, yeah, I watched all of it. Even when I was travelling, I'd get VPNs to mm -hmm. watch it. I was quite addicted, to be fair. But there's some people I really like. Yeah. Um, and then there's people that I thought I really liked. And when you meet them, they're dickheads. We haven't met any of the others, really. We've met a few of them. They're really nice. Um, I met... Who did I meet? Is there, uh, Billy. Billy was actually really nice. Oh, yeah, nice Billy's kid. lovely. Oh, Josh is nice. I feel like I'd get on with most of the boys if I met them at events and stuff. So, you know, only time will tell. But everyone seems fine apart from those two. Yeah. Okay, so the burning question that a lot of people have been asking for a while now. What the fuck happened? Yeah, I think it's finally time we addressed it. And I feel like because we are in such a good place now, we can't like mm -hmm. you know yeah like we did we had a break from each other for a while we weren't in a very good place mm -hmm. things did happen um and at the time we didn't address it because one it was picked up a lot of media articles and it was it was really difficult to say anything than to say the right thing um and also because our relationship is it's real it's not for press pr you know so we didn't really want to address it because Quite frankly, it was no one else's business. Yeah. Um, you know, end of the day, we're humans. You know, things happen. People make mistakes. Um, and, yeah, we just kind of need to figure things out on our own. You know, it leads me on to the point of relationships in the public eye. You know, it might it might look great on Instagram. Everything might look, you know, hunky-dory. Yeah, just to sum it up, we We've were... addressed it, right? We Leave us alone now. Right? No, no. Just to sum it up, we weren't in a great place, you know, when things happened. Uh, but now, you know, we've worked on us, we've worked through it, and we're better we're, than ever. We're actually, yeah, like that question earlier about do we bicker, we don't, in that time period we, we bickered all the time. Yeah. We, we weren't, we were still in love, but we just, we argued we all the time. We fell out We fell out, a, we fell out a lot, but like now, we're in the best place we ever have been, probably similarly after the show, that yeah. kind of honeymoon period all the time. Yeah. We very much know each other in and out, have a lot more trust for each other than we ever did. So yeah, I hope that has answered a few of your questions on that topic. Rumours have been addressed, yeah. all right? Yeah. Back um, off. But listen, that's not we're not doing this because we want it to be brought up again. We're just doing it for a bit of closure for you guys and yeah. for us. A lot of you, uh, that was the main question. So yeah. we thought, right, we should probably speak about it now. Yeah. Um, and we have. Yeah. So, I know, we can laugh about it now, hey? 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 <laughs> Love conquers all. Yay! Um, and on that note, I feel like Game of Thrones is cool now. So yeah, we're going to go I can't believe their words are coming out of my mouth. Three. I'm so happy. Me. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. I love it. Gets me moist. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual guys. Don't know whether this video is going to come first or our Cuba one, but we've got two Cuba videos and this whenever it comes out it's going to be good good videos all around thanks for watching thanks. I've been Emily she's been Cam and together we are the Chuckle Bros